Hi guys! So we have another review for Fun Schooling with Thinking Tree. This is Fashion, Fashion Dreams 1800 to 2030. Love that. Time travel history. Um, we got this like a week ago. Um, and we were busy when we first got it. So we just started it last week. It's so much fun. I got one for both my daughters. And honestly, I would like to have one for myself. So of course, lovely illustrations and colors like always. So for this book, you will be using, um, like all Thinking Tree books, you're going to be using library books, internet resources, YouTube, um, just all kinds of stuff. And it tells you here how to use it. Okay. So you're going to need to get library books, art supplies, um, watch videos, find movies from the time periods. Just all kinds of stuff. You're going to do inaugural, inaugural ball gowns, important events from the time you're studying. So it goes further into history than just fashion because they're going to be reading books from that time period, watching movies from that time period, looking at historical events from that time period. So here's a timeline. And your kid can go through and figure out which time was this from. It starts you out at 1800 and it goes along. Okay, so we turn the page and this is where we've started. So it starts out in 1800. You're going to watch a movie or read a book that took place between 1800 and 1810. Then they get to design their own fancy gown. I don't know why this won't focus today. And then just a regular outfit. And then you're going to write about a major event that happened during that time period. I think our kitty cat stepped on this. Okay, design a wedding dress from that time period. Draw first lady. And here they have free space to maybe come up with their own designs that would fit into that time period. Or just extra space to do designs that are already done, like... They could look at their library book of different dresses. They could do women, children, men, whatever, and draw or make up their own. So then it starts at 1810, and we're going to go through the same thing. So watch a movie, read a book, fancy gown, outfit, write about a major event that happened during that decade, wedding dress, first lady's ball. And then it, so it goes every decade. And so it goes through like this in that repetitive fashion that it has, but because you're doing so much filler in between here, it's not going to feel really repetitive. Um, you could spend, you know, a week or two on each thing, because you could take this, write about a major event, okay, so you're going to find books that go with it, you're going to study that, it could be fiction and nonfiction. you could make timelines for that, you could have them write other reports um, supporting this, so you can really stretch it out if you want to or if you just want to use this as a journal for their own free time um, or just supplemental, you can. So if you're not using it for supplemental, I would add more to it. You could find, you know, unit studies to go along with the books you're reading for this or lap books to go along with the books you're reading for this and you can really... Um, Fill out the things you're doing, you know, add a lot of fillers for it to make it to make it last longer. Or like I said, keep it simple and just let your kids work on it when they want to. They're still going to learn a ton of stuff. And so this just takes you through. Like I said, it's repetitive. You have a fancy outfit, a regular outfit, a wedding dress, first lady's inaugural ball gown. So it just takes you through. Now... It gets up here, okay, so they're going to have to start guessing, right, because we haven't even got here. So this, you know, we're almost there, right, 2018, so that should be pretty easy. I love, though, how they're going to have to kind of think forward, so it says use your imagination. So they're going to have to guess what what's going to happen to the fashion world, and that's fun. No wrong answers there. Okay, we have this again. And then my style. 
So what do you normally dress like? What would your fancy gown look like? Prom dress. Princess dress. My oldest daughter's been having a lot of fun just designing things. So we've done some of it together. Um, we're just now starting our book for it. We went to the library and got some fashion history books and stuff. But with like any of their school books, I let them work in them whenever they want. So here's one of her outfits she wears. A lot actually. Shows what she's wearing now. So you have a lot of, there's a farm girl, traditional Chinese wedding dress, that's fun. So you're learning a lot of different things and you're getting your hand into some fashion design and, and learning while you have fun, which is the theme really of the fun schooling thinking tree, which makes sense, fun schooling, you're having fun while you're doing school, active wear. So this is so much fun, I would do this by myself. And it's always a plus to have a book um, that you say it's time to do school and they get real excited. They're like, oh yeah, I can't wait. Which is what happens a lot when we pull out our fun schooling books. My dream wedding dress, bridesmaid dress. So anyway, toddler got to it. Really fun book. Check it out. Um, they were having a flash sale. I'm not sure if it's still going on. It was last week. We could get this for $10, but you could only get one per customer. So you might want to go hurry, check it out, see if that flash sale is still going on. Even if it's not, I would pay full price for it because um, it's just super awesome. going to learn a lot doing this and have a lot of fun drawing. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, comment down below if you have any questions about the book or any of my other Thinking Tree reviews that I've done. And just let me know. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye.